Hi, my name is John Morris. I'm at the Book Library in Boone, North Carolina, and I'm reading a passage from Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The worship of the census has often, and with much justice, been decried. Men feeling a natural instinct of terror about passions and sensations that seem stronger than ourselves, and that we are conscious of sharing with the less highly organized set forms of existence. But it appeared to Dorian Gray that the true nature of the senses had never been understood, and that they had remained savage and animal merely because the world had sought to starve them into submission, or to kill them by pain. Instead of aiming at them, instead of aiming at making them elements of a new spirituality, of which a fine instinct for beauty was to be the dominant characteristic, as he looked back upon man moving through history, he was haunted by a feeling of loss. So much had been surrendered, and to such little purpose. There had been mad, willful rejections, monstrous forms of self-torture and self-denial, whose origin was fear, and whose result was degradation infinitely more terrible than that fancied degradation from which, in their ignorance, they had sought to escape. Nature, in her wonderful irony, driving driving the anchorite out to herd with the wild animals of the desert, and giving to the hermit the beasts of the field as his companions. Yes, there was to be, as Lord Henry had prophesied, a new hedonism that was to recreate life, and to save it from the harsh, uncomely puritism that is having, in our own day, its curious revival. It was to have its service of the intellect, certainly, Yet it was never to accept any theory or system that would involve the sacrifice of mode of passionate experience. Its aim, indeed, was to be experience itself, and not the fruits of experience, sweet or bitter as they might be, of the asceticism that deadens the senses, as of the vulgar prof profligacy that dulls them. It was to know nothing, but it was to teach man to concentrate himself upon the moments of a life that is itself but a moment.